Hi guys, nice to see you. Um, so we're entering into February half term in the middle of lockdown number three and I thought, wow, how are we going to fill that time firstly? <laughs> and secondly, maybe everyone just needs a little bit of movement um, to add into that week. So join me if you want to for a little workout and a mini Pilates. All right, come onto your feet and stand feet hip width apart. Weight nice and even through those feet. Stand tall through the crown of your head, all right? Just make sure your pelvis is neutral, your ribs are sitting directly on top of your hips. Your shoulders are directly on top of your ribs, on top of your hips, and your head is nicely lined up, crown of the head to the ceiling, all right? Take a breath in here. And as we breathe out, we're just gonna start peeling the spine forward. I want you to tuck the chin, lead through the crown of the head, and bone by bone, send your spine forward towards the floor. Take a breath there, and as you breathe out, you're going to find a little bit of center. Open the hips back up, and restack bone by bone, all the way up. Neutral spine. We're going to do that twice more. Just tucking the chin and peeling the spine through, bone by bone, all the way towards the floor. We take a breath there, and then when you're ready, we restack. Find that center. Open the pelvis out, we stack the spine bone by bone all the way back up to where you started. One last one here, just tucking the chin, peeling the spine forward, rolling through. Good, find that little bit of center. Reach, good, and then we restack the spine all the way back up. And neutral, well done. Take your feet just a little bit wider than your hips, slightly turned out at the hip. One arm's gonna float up by your ear. And as you breathe out, we're gonna take it into a side flexion of the spine. It just as far as feels comfortable. Keep those um, shoulders level so we're not rotating forward. Okay, keep that openness. And we lift up and we're gonna circle one arm down as the other arm comes up. And we're gonna take it over to the other side, lead through the crown of the head and side flex. Good. And lift it up, switch the arms and over we go to the other side, lead with the crown of the head, opening out the sideline of the body. Good, and lift up. And we switch those arms, good, one last one over here. Breathe into that open side, and breathe out, let's back the spine back up, take your arms wide. Let's bring those arms in front of the body now, just stack them one on top of the other, Cossack arms, okay, from here, let's rotate the spine, head, neck, up, back round you go. Good, breathing, come back through center. Breathing out, rotate the other way. Just the rib cage. Try and keep those hips nice and still. Keep grounded through your feet. Keep growing tall through the crown of your head. Breathe in center. Breathing out, rotate. Good, come back through center. Release the arms down by your side. Rotate your shoulders towards your right leg. Tuck the chin and we're just gonna peel the spine down that right hand side. All right, taking a little bit of stretch into the left hand side of your spine, take a breath there. And then we're gonna circle through the midline of the body, bring the arms all the way around to the other side and we'll restack bone by bone all the way back up. All right, if that doesn't feel right in your lower back, just take your roll down through the midline of the body as we did at the beginning, all right? Keep that rotation and roll back down that left leg. All right, rotate through center, come back round to the right hand side and restack the spine all the way. Good, return to neutral alignment and come down onto the mat or just find a little floor space and come into a, what we call our relaxation position. So our feet are hip width apart, our legs are parallel, knees are bent. Pelvis is neutral, hip bones are level left and right, pubic bones in line, and the pelvis is parallel to the floor. All right, ribs settled onto the mat or onto the floor, back of your head long. All right, take a breath in here. And as you breathe out, I want you to send opposite arm and leg away. And then you're going to breathe in to return, and we're going to change that opposite arm and leg away. Good, and then breathe in to return. Pelvis and spine stay still here. All right, nothing's shifting in that spine. We're just working through shoulders and hips. Good. One last one. Really keeping that nice alignment through the front line of the body. 
All right, return into that relaxation position. Starting to take the knees out to the side, okay, into your knee drop. Keeping the hips nice and still, breathe into return, breathing out, change sides. Out to the side, breathing in to return. Good. This time, add the arms going wide. Breathing in, draw the arms back over your chest. Breathing out, knee drop, send the arms wide. Good. Breathing and bring them over your chest. One last one to each side. Single knee drop. Pelvis stays still. Supporting legs stay still. Breathe in, return. And the other side. Good. And breathe in to return. Arms just resting by your side. Nice neutral spine. You're going to bring one knee into a single knee fold and or bring that second knee up into your double knee fold. All right, we're going to return one foot to the floor and then the other foot to the floor. You can work single legs here if you want to. Just knee fold and return and knee fold and return. We're still keeping that nice alignment through the front line of the body. Drawing ourselves into that double knee fold and then returning those feet to the floor. Give me two more sets here. Let's make sure nothing shifts in the spine. Really engage center here to bring that second leg up. Keep that right angle at the knee. Keep that load of the leg, toning those deep abdominals. Last set here, bring those knees in. Connect your legs together. Let's take hands behind the head. You can work in a single knee fold here or with your feet down if this feels too much for your lower back, okay? Elbows in peripheral vision here. Keep this nice alignment. Keep pulling the belly button down towards your spine. As you breathe out, we're curling up towards those knees. All right. And then we breathe in to lengthen the spine all the way back down. Three more just like that. Breathing out, curl up. Breathe in, lengthen down. Bone by bone. We're trying to get sequential movement through the spine here. Curling up. Lengthening down. Good, and last one, curl up. Good, lengthening it down. All right, from here, we're gonna take it into an oblique curl. So I'm taking my opposite shoulder to the opposite hip, okay? So left shoulder to right hip, lengthen it back down. Right shoulder to left hip, and lengthen it back down. Keep squeezing those legs together. Keep drawing those knees in towards you. Don't let those knees travel away from the body. All right, opposite shoulder to opposite hip. Good, and take it away. We can add in a leg reach here if you want to. So I'm oblique curling to my right. I'm going to send my left leg long. Good, draw the left knee back in. Take the upper body down. And then we're going to go the other side. Oblique curl to my left. My right leg goes straight. Good, draw that knee back in. And bring the upper body back down. Last one on each side. Oblique curl right, send the left leg long. Draw it back in. Good, take the upper body down. And then last one, oblique curl to the left and the right leg long. Good, draw it all back in and down, hug those knees. Open out that lumbar spine. Rock from side to side. Bring your feet down to the floor. Hip apart. All right, legs parallel, arms by your side, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, we're gonna spine curl, tilt the pelvis back and just peel the spine up bone by bone. Send those knees away from you. Extend the hips up towards the ceiling, be strong through those feet. And then bone by bone, you're gonna bring the spine all the way back down. Lengthening through, working through that lumbar spine, keep the pelvic tilt until you're back into neutral, then off we go again. All right, tilting the pelvis back, peeling the spine up as you breathe out. Send those knees away from you, really extend the hips up towards the ceiling, find that nice stretch down the front of the thigh. And then again, bring the spine down bone by bone. And we're just gonna do two more exactly like that. Just find that little bit of center, peel the spine up, send the knees away from you. Good, extend those hips. Squeeze into the glutes, bring the spine down. Last one here, guys. Find that little pelvic tilt, find your center, peel that spine up, send those knees over towards your toes, really extend the hips, squeeze into the glutes, hold it there. Let's reach the arms up and away now, keep holding that bridge position. If the arms can just relax on the floor behind you, leave them there. All right, and bring the spine back down, bone by bone. Try and find every section of your back as you return the spine down to the mat. Then bring those arms back down by your side. Connect your legs together. 
just going to go a jaunty angle for you so you can see a little better. Arms nice and wide on the mat, legs glued together. As you breathe out, we hip roll over to one side. Then breathe in, return. Breathing out, we're going to go the other way. Now I want you to keep pushing that bottom knee up into the top knee so we keep those knees glued together. Feet stack, yes, the inner edges of the feet stay glued together and we rotate the spine here. As you return, we're going to start lifting the arms. So we come into that hip roll. As you breathe in, you return, you lift the arms up towards the ceiling above your chest. We hip roll, the arms go wide. Good, breathe in, draw it back. Lovely. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can bring your legs into that double knee fold if that feels okay for you. Okay, and we do exactly the same thing here. Keep those legs glued together. Keep that bottom knee pushing up into the top knee. And we hip roll one way, we come back through center. And then the arms go wide, we hip roll the other way. Keeping those knees and ankles glued. Last one here, guys, in each direction. And switched on. Make sure you're even in both directions. And then we're just going to hug the knees and bring the feet back down to the floor. Let's take it into a roll up for those of you that want to roll up, okay? If you don't like a roll up, you'll just keep it as a curl up. So the legs are going long, they're glued together. I want a flexed ankle. I want these legs to be a lovely anchor for you down to the mat. We're neutral in our spine. The arms are reaching up and overhead. As we breathe out, we draw the arms forward. We tuck the chin. We come into a curl up. And if that feels as far as you want to go, you stay there and take the spine down. Okay, or you come through that curl up and you keep going into your roll up, rolling all the way through, reaching for those feet. And then we lengthen the spine. Keep those legs heavy, squeezing together as you bring yourself back down. Just two more like that, bring the arms forward, tuck the chin, curling up. Keep lengthening through the crown of the head as you reach forward. Good, and then we lengthen it all the way back. Open the hips out, relax your shoulders, keep the legs heavy to the mat and squeezing together. Try and keep the ankles nice and flexed. Last one, we're going to stay seated here. Spine stretch forward, restack the spine all the way up into a neutral sitting position. Now, if this feels intense in the lumbar spine and you end up being here, just bend your knees, okay? Just give yourself a little bit of space in the knee. And that will give you a nice neutral spine, ribs still sitting directly above those hips, crown of the head reaching. All right, we reach the arms forward here. We're going to rotate the spine. Lift the arm up, circle it round and behind you find that rotation. That front arm really reaches forward as the back arm comes round, tap to the floor behind you and lift the back up and comes round. Good. Two more like that. Rotate. Good. And lift up and round. Last one on this side. Rotate. Lift up and round, lovely. And again on the other side. Tap, lift it up, sweep it round. Two more. Good. Last one. Lovely. And bring it round. Slide those legs in towards you. Give yourself a little hug here. Come round into a little bit of full point kneeling. All right, hands below shoulders, knees below your hips. Nice neutral running through the spine, a little bit lift through the center. All right, we're going to do a cat here, tucking the tailbone, rounding the spine into your cat stretch. And then we lengthen the spine out. And you're going to come into that extended spine here, shine the chest forward. We tuck the tailbone, round the spine up. And then lengthen the spine away and extend. Good, coming back through neutral again. One last time, tuck the tailbone around the spine. Good, tucking the chin and then lengthening the spine out and then send the tailbone away and sequentially extend the spine, turn that chest forward. And then bring yourself back to a nice neutral spine. Slide one leg out from behind you and then lift it up. Keep that leg lifted, send the opposite arm out and lift it. Hold that there for three, two, one, bring it in. And then we're going on to the other side, slide the leg away 
and lift it. Keep the hips nice and level. Keep drawing the belly button up. The ribs are in line. Opposite arm comes out and you hold it there for three, two, one, and bring it in. One more to each side there. Slide the leg away. Opposite arm two, if you're using it, reach opposite arm and leg away. Hold it there for three, two, one. Bring it in. And last one, slide the leg away, slide the opposite arm away, hold it there, center, length through to the crown of the head for three, two, one, draw it in, well done, feet together, knees wide, push back. Yeah, take a breath here. And then as you breathe out, I want you to just walk your hands over to the left and get a stretch down the right hand side of your spine. Breathe into that right hand side and then walk your hands back through center and over to the right hand side. Take a breath here into that left hand side of your spine. And release. Come back through center. Tuck the tailbone. Restack the spine all the way back. Coming up to standing one last time. Okay, have your feet together. We're gonna to take a little balance here, all right? So feet are glued together. Stand tall through the crown of the head, find that nice alignment. We're gonna pick one foot up, coming into a single leg balance, all right? If you need to just stay focused on the balance, stay there in a balance, all right? If you can add the arms in, we're gonna float those arms around all the way up above our head. Bring the palms of your hands together. Bend your elbows, squeeze those hands together as you bring them down in front of the body and through extending those wrists all the way down. Let the hands peel apart. And we'll do that one more time. Keep balance on that leg if you can. Circle the arms up and round. Bring the palms of your hands together. Draw those palms down in front of you. Like I'm saying a little prayer. <laughs> Bend those elbows, let the hands peel away and return that foot to the floor. Do the same on the other leg, all right? Peel that foot away, come into a single knee fold. Float those arms out and round, reach them up. Bring the palms of the hands together above your head, bend your elbows, push your hands into each other. Just bring your thumbs down in front of your nose. Keep pushing and through those wrists, let the hands peel away from each other. Circle them out and round one last time here. Stay tall through the crown of the head, keep your center switched on. One last time. Really nicely done, guys. Return that foot to the floor, hip width apart, take a breath in. Breathe out, send those arms out and round. Take them up, clasp them behind your head. Breathe in, shrug your shoulders. Release them down. Bring your elbows, send the arms up. Look up, lift the chest, extend into the upper back slightly. Release the hands. Bring the arms all the way back down by your side. Give your shoulders a roll. And that's it for um, today's session. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel ready to tackle the rest of your day. Take care, I'll see you soon. Bye.